Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to what could possibly be the beginning of a series of videos about an interesting piece of audio equipment. So you can see I already have my uh, test speakers in the background, and since you've all read the title, you all know what's in the box. Still, I thought we'd uh, go ahead and open this up. And see what we get. Well, that went quick. We have a box, we have a bill, and that's it. And here it is. This is the Lepai LP2020A Plus Hi Fi Stereo Class T Digital Audio Amplifier. It says right there. That's the interesting part about it. I want to make some experiences with these uh, digital audio amplifiers. This is a Class T, meaning it uh, incorporates a chip made by a company called TriPath. So it's a uh, special kind of uh, way of doing the Class D. It is a digital amplifier. And, uh, well, let's uh, go ahead and see what's in the box. It does say two channels, 12 volts, original, whatever the hell that means, <laughs> double printed circuit board, speaker protection, and LED aperture. Oh, well, that's some creative uh, English for you right there. Let's uh, pull this out, and there it is. Wow. This thing's tiny. I thought it was a little bit bigger than that, but here it is, the Lapai LP2020A Plus Digital Amplifier. And uh, we also get, uh, oh dear, uh, do get a power adapter, as you can see. That is a 13.5 volt 3 amp adapter, which is interesting because from what I read, these usually come with a 12 volt adapter. And then we have this. This is uh, just an adapter thingy to go from the American style plug to the continental European style plug. This thing's very light, made in China, just says power input, doesn't give any ratings anymore. That's interesting. It's definitely a, a different version than what I've seen in other YouTube videos so far. Have the speaker outputs, audio inputs, uh, RCA and a three and a half millimeter jack. On the front we have a power switch. And the uh, fill the capacitor has actually had some kind of a residual charge in there. Could see that uh, light coming on for a second there. Have a tone or direct switch. We have uh, treble and bass, and of course volume. So that's that's about that. So let's go ahead and set this thing up. Right, we're all hooked up and ready to go. So let's start the CD player and uh, turn it on. See what it does. Probably heard the uh, relay clicking there. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really play much of anything. That's the way things are on YouTube nowadays. Anyway, uh, so far, as you can see, the default is both tone controlled turned all the way up. So let's go ahead and bring that into the center position. See how it sounds now. Shouldn't have that much of a loudness anymore. <laughs> Now, so far, we've had this uh, little button down there turned on. This is the uh, tone button, tone and direct. Now, you'd think that the only thing this does is to cut out the, uh, the tone controls, but um, let's go ahead and deactivate that and listen to the same segment of music again, because from what I read online, it will actually sound different with that uh, button set to direct. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so that sounded a bit different. I'm, I can't really describe in, in which kind of way it sounded different, but uh, that's another thing to note about this thing. Anyway, enough of testing. Let's go ahead and uh, take this thing apart and see what's inside. As you can see, there is really not a whole lot to this. Of course, plenty of uh, surface mount devices, plenty of SMD circuitry in this. So, it is quite a bit more complex than it may look. We have, as the heart of the circuit right there, the TriPath TA2020 Integrated Digital Class T Amplifier Chip. And then off to the side we have, uh, as the preamplifier for both channels, the JRC4558 op amps. Other than that, um, this does not give away any sort of a design date, this circuit board. Uh, we do have the speaker relays up there, of course. We've got uh, potentiometers made by a company called Lepi, or, or something like that. Almost the same as uh, Lepi, but not quite. Uh, this here is interesting because I read this online. Um, on previous editions you always got a noise when touching the volume control and people said the way to fix it is to connect the housing of the potentiometer to ground. And as you can see, Lepi has already done that in this particular unit. Right here, of course, we have our uh, voltage input. For the previous tests, of course, I've been using the power adapter that came with the unit. We have a little uh, inductor right there for noise suppression, and then we have this ridiculously small filter capacitor, 2200 microfarads at 16 volts. That's uh, really not a whole lot, so there's definitely some potential for future improvements. We're going to be doing that in another video, so until then, thank you for watching and see you again soon.